Hello everyone, this is Meir from the School for Self-Healing. In a few days, we'll have a nice class for the spine. And there's something that I want to talk about that you can see in my book, Movement for Life, in my book, The Handbook of Self-Healing, and you will see in my future book, Awaken Your Powers of Self-Healing. Some people are talking about awareness of the body as the one and only important thing. It was amazing discovery for F.M. Alexander, who became very famous, when he understood that how you do things is just as important as doing them. Let's refresh our memory with what he's basically saying and try to do that exercise. I'll interpret it my way. You sit straight on your chair, you put your hands on your knees, and you visualize that your head goes up to the sky, one shoulder moves to one side of the room, and the other shoulder moves to the other side of the room. You breathe deeply and slowly, and you keep thinking about lengthening and widening your back and your neck. When you walk, and again my interpretation, and I'm not an Alexander student per se, but I am Alexander's student at heart. You walk and you think, heel to toe. You think that your foot is lifting your leg up. And you think that your neck and shoulders are widening. So today, I thought I'm not going to run because there was rain. So I exercised. I put tennis balls under my back. I stretched beautifully and found where are the tight spots in my back and loosen them. And that's even though my back did not hurt. I just did not want my back to have tight spots. My run was better than normal. I felt much better. On the way to the cliff house where I normally run for my house on the beach, bare feet, to the amazement of all my neighbors and people who walk their dogs on the beach, because there was wind and it apparently was slightly cold. There was no rain. But on the way back, there was strong rain. And I can't even start to tell you how much I enjoyed feeling that rain. Due to our rules, I had to keep my bathing suit on. So I did. But at the same time, I would have liked it to even be off if the rules would allow that. Because it was so wonderful to feel the rain on my skin, to feel nature, the one we escaped so much. It wasn't a cold rain, so that's what made it so easy. So here's two things. Feeling the body. Lying on tennis balls before I go to the beach. Feeling different parts of my back. Running on the beach and enjoying feeling the water and the earth with my feet. Feeling the air and the rain feeling everything, and at the same time, increasing my capacity. Many methods deny the body the internal feeling, deny the kinesthetic awareness. You push the body beyond the body's health to the extent that you don't pay attention to your sensation. Many others open you to your sensations so you start to increase powers within your body. So you learn how not to let the gravity pull you down without you balancing your body so you will not stress from it. Our method does both. We work on expansion. While listening to it, keep thinking that your head goes up, one shoulder moves to one side of the room, and the other shoulder moves to the other side of the room. If people tell you that your disc problem is your back problem, don't believe them. It's a result of your back problem. If people tell you that you cannot give up on old pain, don't believe them either. Start to use your back differently. Change the way that you walk. Change the way that you sit. Change the way that you go to sleep. Change the way that you run or lift weights. Depends what you do. And accept the world that you know. This class 
is going to change your life completely, as it's going to give you a physical new perspective of what you can do. At the same time, I'm looking forward for the class we'll have on February to improve our vision. In those six precious days, we learn how to see better. We learn what's common to all vision problems, tension, and the tendency to not look at details, the tendency to not use the periphery. We learn how to use our periphery, how to look at details, how to look at a distance. We learn how to be more alive and more present. And we'll learn how to see better. This class can help everyone. And at this point, I want to talk about the fact that many people believe that when you e reach the age of 40, you had enough birthdays that force you to use glasses to see well. That's not true. I can show you in this wonderful DVD, you're going to see a woman in her 60s. And in fact, with an eye disease that could have caused her to have a surgery, seeing better while being photographed on TV. Imagine being on the spotlight in a foreign TV. Jeanne is Canadian and she speaks French and she was on Italian TV speaking English, which is a foreign language to her, and being presented with letters doing the exercises, and still seeing better. So, don't wear your glasses if they were just prescribed to you. And if you have to wear glasses, take some time to do eye exercises, so slowly, slowly, you'll see better and need them less and less. In the 6-day eye class, we will talk about the 9 principles of natural vision improvement. We'll take the steps to see better. We'll use the beach. We'll have a wonderful night walk in the park. We will make so many differences. And I assure you, you will love taking the class and seeing better. Many, many blessings to all of you. Looking forward to see some of you in my spine class and many of you in my eye class. Blessings from here.